Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on treatment effects regression adjustment in STATA. That's a mouthful but as you'll soon see it's actually a very simple thing that we're trying to do here and a very useful one. Let's start by loading a data set and we're going to use Cataneo 2 and just to give you a quick look at these data it's a very long data set about the birth weight outcomes uh, of mothers depending on a number of variables uh, including their age and whether or not they smoke and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to start out by just doing a regression model here and in this regression model we're looking at birth weight as a function of uh, married status age of the mother whether or not they had a prenatal visit whether or not it's their first baby and what we're interested in is the effect of whether or not they smoked so there's a couple of things to sort of look at uh, you know over here in this code. The first is uh, TFX RA for regression adjustment that's just you know copied and pasted right in there. Then we're looking at the dependent variable of interest and the other sort of I guess we should really call these covariates that go into it because what we're really interested in is the effect of smoking, maternal smoking on birth weight. So we have to kind of separate out this main independent variable in parentheses here from this set of variables in which the first variable is the outcome of interest which is birth weight and then your covariates here just listed in order and let's go ahead and run that model and you'll see what it means and that it's really quite easy to interpret so ATE here means just average treatment effect and uh, PO mean means the potential outcome mean now before we get into that let me just do maybe what's more uh, what's a more intuitive or just easier way of setting up some of these numbers so that you we can do some comparisons and, and figure out what's going on here so in this code here by the way I just set up uh, an independent samples t-test where I wanted to look at birth weight as a function of maternal smoking and what we saw is that among mothers who do not smoke the birth weight I believe this is in grams is uh, 275 units uh, higher now if we scroll up here to this figure which is for smoker versus non-smoker we see that for smoking mothers the uh, birth weight in grams is 239 units lower than for mothers who don't smoke so uh, what, what we did here though I just want you to remember is we put in a bunch of these covariates so we have you know, marriage is in there, maternal age is in there, whether or not there was a prenatal visit and whether or not it's the first baby. We had all these effects here which of course we can't include in the t-test in the same way but the reason I ran the t-test is to just give you a in more intuitive way of understanding what's going on. We know here that mothers who don't smoke have higher birth weight children and we know that that amount is this. So when you come in and you see it over here you see that Wow, that's that's a very similar amount. There's a little bit of a difference that's created by these uh, covariates over here, and it's also kind of different because it's expressed as um, smoker versus non-smoker. So you have to understand that uh, for smoking mothers, the birth weight is this many units less, whereas in the t-test, it's 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 set up differently. It's it's a positive number, but in both cases, it's just a difference between birth weights in two groups of women, and then what we see over here is the potential outcome mean and one way of thinking about that is look at if you if you if you weren't a smoker right if you were not a smoker what kind of birth weight um, might you expect and intuitively we kind of see that it's very similar to what we got in the t-test right uh, we see that you you know you can probably expect a birth weight of uh, 3403 grams if you're not a smoker the difference is in the t-test we could not include the effects of any of these variables over here and uh, you know over here um, with the tfx ra command we did so that's a very simple easy way to do it and when when you're looking at um, you know epidemiology or if you're looking at um, you know certain disciplines in which the data are reported you do need this terminology you do need this statistic an average treatment effect a potential outcome mean and while you can you know generate those with uh, you know regression models and maybe with ANCOVAs or something like that there are ways to do that it's just so much easier in STATA to use the t effects 
RA command to do that. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.